Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and today I'm going to show you how puppy toys and tennis balls are going to ruin your bird dog. Alright, so I mentioned tennis balls and puppy toys. First and foremost, first, first of all, the things of the first of the conversation, where we're going to start today is tennis balls. This is probably the number one thing that people get out and want to play fetch with. Dogs love them. They really do. They bounce, they roll, they're exciting. But with that excitement comes some really bad mouth habits. Now, if you have a pet and you're watching this, thinking about teaching your dog to play fetch, tennis balls are fine. If you have a bird dog, tennis balls are going to develop really, really bad mouth habits. What they encourage dogs to do is roll and chew and mouth. And if you imagine this becoming a bird, that's a habit that we've developed now that's going to cause issues down the road with hard mouth dogs. Now, the other thing that this tennis ball can encourage is dropping. Dogs get excited about it. They come and they'll throw them back at you. They bounce, they roll. It adds excitement to the game. They may even throw them to themselves. All in all, tennis balls are going to develop bad bird dog retrieving habits. Next thing that we have here is a puppy toy. This is a pretty standard puppy toy. Comes equipped with a squeaker. All of them do. It's basically impossible to find puppy toys without squeakers in them. And the problem with squeakers is birds make the same noise when you squeak them, which if your dog is used to, they're going to do that with birds and it's going to continue on the hab on the path, excuse me, of bad mouth habits. You're going to have birds that are pre-tenderized and nobody wants that. So we have here a, this is uh, a stainless steel cocktail skewer. Uh, it's approximately the same as like a 14 gauge needle. What we are going to do now is kill the squeaker so you don't have to go on this epic adventure search for squeakerless puppy toys. You can buy any puppy toy and kill the squeaker. What we have to do is kind of feel around on our squeaker and find the vent hole or the, the actual hole that the air is coming out to make the squeak noise. Once we find that, where are you at, you little turd? Right here it should be. So once we found that, I've got the hole and I'm actually going to just take and run. Now be careful folks, this thing's pokey, but I'm gonna take and run that skewer right into the center of the squeaker. And then now I have it threaded right through the center of that squeak hole and I'm just gonna poke it out the back a couple times. That'll poke a couple holes in the squeaker, one there and one there. And now, that didn't kill the squeaker completely here. We need a couple more holes probably. Let's see here, get right in there. You basically need to just get enough holes in the squeaker that it doesn't have the ability to, let's just poke them through the side. Let's try that too. You need enough holes in that squeaker that it doesn't have the ability to push enough air out to make the squeak noise. Getting closer. This poor, poor squeaker's still got a little squeak left in it. My hat's off to you, Kong. Your squeakers are just as tough as the rest of your products. All right, there's another hole, there's another hole, there's another hole, and there's another hole. And it's gone. All right, so poked about six or seven holes through the squeaker with the little cocktail skewer. These I just bought on Amazon, so you can find them literally anywhere. And now you have a puppy toy that can be used with any bird dog. Now, to finish this out, we want to talk about what is, we're done with that one. Throw that over here, babe. This here would be a standard puppy bumper. They are tubular. They develop good mouth habits. And if you have been following along with any of Hex's videos you saw in his last retrieving video, we showed how he did an awesome job with this. The only modification that we ever make to these bumpers is cut the strings off. If you have a dog that likes to pick them up by the string, you can remove those in the early stages. But 
These are also great to apply wings to. If you want your dog to get used to feathers, you can electrical tape on a couple wings to each side, and you've got an awesome retrieving toy for your bird dog. I'm the guy with the pink gun. I'll see you in the next video.